Hey, what's going on guys? How you doing? This video is going to explain to you how you can come up with scales and chords based on using scale formulas and chord formulas, okay? So, basically the basis of all music is the major scale. Everything comes from the major scale. All other scales are, der are some form of a derivation of the major scale and all chords are derived from the major scale as well, okay? So you have 12 possible major scales. On the guitar, if you're looking at the guitar, low E string, you have 12 frets before everything begins to repeat. You have E, then F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and so on. And then once you get to the 12th fret, you're at E again. Okay, so you have 12 possible major scales. So whichever major scale you're using, that's going to be the scale that's derived. So if you're using the C major scale, any type of C scale will then be derived from that. So if you're looking to create a C minor scale or a C harmonic minor scale or a C blues scale or a C any type of scale, it's derived from the C major scale. Okay? Same thing with anything. If you're looking to create a, an A harmonic minor scale or an A blues scale or an A major pentatonic scale, it comes from the A major scale. Same thing with chords. If you're looking to create a G7 chord or a G add 9 chord or a G11 chord or a G diminished chord, it comes from the G major scale. Okay? So everything comes from its respective major scale. You have 12 possible major scales, and that's where everything, all the scales and the chords come from. Okay? So the first part of this is basically um, where the scales come from. So let's use the key of C for example. This is going to give us all our C major or all our C scales. Okay, so your C major scale. And then you can keep going. Okay, so your C major scale has the formula 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's the formula for a C major scale. There's no sharps, there's no flats. Those numbers are referring to degrees to the degrees of the scale. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it starts over again. You can either call that one or you can call it eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, repeated, and then it keeps going. But most scales are only seven notes. Your pentatonic scales are five notes. But um, so we're only going to be using the first seven notes of the of the scale, the first seven degrees of the scale to create all our other scales. So if we wanted to create a C minor scale, which has its own scale formula, and that scale formula is one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, and then it starts over. So that's the formula for a minor scale. So if we wanted to create a C minor scale, we would start on our C major scale and then apply that formula to it. So that formula is one, two, so now you have a flat three instead of a three, then four, five, then you have a flat six instead of a six, then you have a flat seven, and then it starts over. So your C minor scale. Okay, so you see how that was just a a derivative of the C major scale is all we did was take the C major scale and apply the formula to it and then we ended up with the C minor scale okay so we can use another example say we want to come up with the G harmonic minor scale all right so the harmonic minor scale has its own formula the harmonic minor scale formula is one two flat three four five flat six seven and then it starts over again. Okay, so since we're talking about G now, we're gonna start on our G major scale, and then we're gonna apply that formula to it. So our G major scale is this. Okay, but now we wanna apply that formula to it to get the G harmonic minor scale. So one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, 
seven, and then it starts over. Okay, so in the blog post that goes along with this, I have the scale form that was written out for the the most commonly used scales that you're going to be using, uh, and I also have all the chord formulas written out for all the chords that you're going to be using, or all the chords that are in existence. I might have missed a few, but you'll see there's a lot of them in there. But anyway, so that's scale formulas. That's how you create scales. That's where they come from. So anytime I talk about a scale formula, now you know where that is. So the next part is going to be chord formulas. Let me get to that. Okay, so chord formulas is the same thing. Chord formulas comes from the appropriate major scale. So if I want to create some sort of a C chord, I'm going to use the C major scale. If I want to create some sort of a G chord, I'm going to use the G major scale. If I want to create some sort of a B flat chord, I'm going to use the B flat major scale. Okay? And then once I have the correct major scale to use, I apply the correct chord formula. All right, so let's start with a simple example. We'll start with um, we'll start with a C major chord. Okay, so it's a C major chord. It's going to come from the C major scale. So you take your C major scale. Now your chord formula for a major chord is one three five. Okay, so you're going to take the first note of the of the uh, major scale the third note of the major scale and the fifth note of the major scale. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so your first, third, and fifth note is C, your third note is E, and your fifth note is G. One, three, five, C, E, G. Okay, so those are the three notes that make a C major chord. So you may be familiar with this C major chord. Okay, so let's look at the notes. So you have a C here. You have an E here, you have an open string which is a G, you have a C here, and you have an open string which is an E. Okay, so you have all C's, E's, and G's. Okay, so let's try and uh, make a G major chord now. G major comes from the G major scale. Alright, so start with your G major scale. Alright, the first note is a is a G, the third note is a B, and the fifth note is a D. So G, B, D. Applying your chord formula, you get G, B, D. Alright, so let's look at our G chord, which looks like this. I'm sure you've seen this before. Let's look at the notes of a G chord. You have a G, you have a B, you have an open string, which is a D, open string, which is a B, then you have a D, then you have a G. Okay, so it's all G's, B's, and D's. There could be multiple notes, there can be multiple G's, B's, and D's, but as long as there's no other notes aside from those three notes, it's going to be a G chord. Alright? So now let's try a different type of chord. Let's try a minor chord. Alright, let's try um, to create an A minor chord. Alright, so uh, you're going to start with your A major scale, because everything comes from the major scale. Even though this is a minor chord, it all starts from the major scale. So we're looking for an A minor chord. So we start with our A major scale. All right, you look at the notes of the A major scale. So the chord formula for a minor chord is a 1, a flat 3, and a 5. So you take your 1, and you take your flat 3, so one, two, now it's not your three, it's one less than the three, because it's a flat three. So one, flat three, and then five. So you have A, C, and E. Okay, see how I did that? I took the one, and I took not the three, but I took the flat three of the major scale, and then I took the five to get A, C, E. All right, so this is an A minor chord that you may know. So let's look at the notes of that. You have A, you have E, you have A, you have C, and you have E. All A, C's, and E's. A minor chord. Alright, 
So this applies to any of the chords, which is on the chord formula chart that I have given you in the blog post. Um, so all you have to do is you know if you're some if it's any type of A chord or any type of G chord or any type of C chord or whatever, you use the appropriate major scale. There's twelve possibilities. Um, and then you just apply the chord formula to it or scale formula if you're trying to create a scale. Okay, so one last thing that you may find a little confusing is uh, once you start get in, getting into extensions, once you start seeing 9s, 11s, and 13s and stuff like that. Um, but that's still pretty straightforward. It, it all, again, comes from the major scale. It's just you continue up the major scale. So, for example, the notes are 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then instead of starting over and calling it the 1 again, you can actually call it the 8. So 8, then 9, then 10, then 11, then 12, then 13. Okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's still coming from your major scale. You're just continuing up into the next octave. All right? So let's use an example, um, a C9. We're going to try and do a C9 chord. All right, so because it's a C, some sort of C chord, it's going to come from the C major scale. All right, so you take your C major scale and you apply your C9 chord formula to it. The C9, or the, the chord formula for ninth chord is 1, 3, 5, flat 7, 9. All right, so let's figure out what those notes are. C major scale, first note is a C, third note is an E, fifth note is a G, Flat seven, not the seventh note of the major scale, but the flat seventh note is a B flat. And the ninth note is a D. So one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, eight, nine. Okay, so you have a C, E, G, B flat, and D. That makes your C nine chord. Alright? So any combination of those five notes is going to give you a C9. Okay, so this is what your C9 chord looks like. Alright, so let's look at what those notes are. You have a C, you have a G, you have a B flat, you have an E, you have a G, and you have a D. Okay, so those are those five notes. Even though there's six strings, I use the G twice. So it can be any combination of C's, E's, G's, B flats, and D's, because that's your chord formula for C9. Okay, and now the same process can be applied for any type of chord. If you wanted to create a G13 chord, you would use your G major scale, and you would figure out what all the degrees are, and then you would combine those notes, and then that's how you get your G13 chord. Or if you wanted a, a B flat diminished chord, you would start on your B flat scale, your B flat major scale, you would then apply the chord formula to the B flat diminished in order to get your notes. You would then combine those notes together and that's how you come up with the B flat diminished chord. Okay? So that's how all this stuff works. That's chord formulas, that's scale formulas. It all comes from the major scale, the respective major scale. Okay, so again, look in the blog post for this. Um, you'll see You'll see uh, I printed out there, I gave you a chart for all the chord formulas and all the scale formulas. And uh, if there's any type of confusion with this or if there's anything I left out, feel free to comment me or send me a message and uh, I'll be glad to answer it. All right, thanks a lot.